People say that Nostradamus saw almost everything coming, from Hitler's rise to power to the killing of John F. Kennedy. It's an undeniable fact that many past events happened in ways that seemed to contradict what Nostradamus said. This is true whether you believe in him or not. But what about the big things that are going to happen in the near future? Strange statements that the famous Greek mystic Nostradamus made about the year 2024 have caught the attention of people all over the world. They found something crazy. What does he think will happen in 2024? Is 2024 going to be a good year? Or should we stand up and get ready for what's to come? A lot of people get chills just thinking about Nostradamus because he had an amazing reputation for making predictions that came true and couldn't be stopped, no matter how hard people tried. What's strange is that he seemed to be able to predict each new year. We're talking about predictions that are as scary as World Wars Wan and II and the deaths of famous people on set times for unknown reasons, among other scary statements made every year. When these predictions come true, they show us the terrible things that are going to happen. But first, let's take a quick look at his background. His shocking predictions for 2024 have sent chills down the spines of many people. Nostradamus, whose real name was Michel de Nostradamus, first worked as a doctor. But as time went on, he became more interested in the supernatural and astrology. He went to the University of Avignon to study medicine when he was only 14 years old. His studies were cut short though, after only a year, because of the bubonic plague. During this time, Nostradamus went to the countryside to work as a pharmacist and learn about plant medicines. Upon his return to education in 1522, he enrolled at the University of Montpellier and earned his doctorate in medicine there. Even though Catholic priests didn't agree with him and didn't believe in his occult views, he was given a medical license in 1525. Nostradamus became famous for coming up with new ways to treat plague victims. Instead of the usual way of drawing blood, he stressed on good cleanliness getting rid of dead bodies properly and using herbs as medicine. Ling, his rose-colored pill, helped people with light plague and he had an amazing success rate at curing people. As soon as Nostradamus moved to Salon de Provence in 1547, he stopped writing about medicine and started writing about the supernatural. He meditated for hours on end often in front of a bowl of water and flowers that put him in a trance-like state and let him see things. He used these visions to help him make predictions about the future. He put out his first calendar with astrological facts and forecasts in 1550 and it was well received. This made him want to keep writing and in 1555 he released Les Prophéties or The Prophecies his most important collection of statements. Nostradamus used a unique technique to hide what his predictions meant. He used a variety of languages in his writing, such as Greek, Italian, Latin and Provençal, and wrote in quatrains and rhymed four-line lines. He said that his findings were based on judicial astrology, which looked at where planets and other celestial things were in relation to Earth. Some experts didn't like how he did things, but a lot of them thought his predictions came from God. Now let's take a quick look at some of his predictions that came true, which may come as a surprise. One of the most famous things Nostradamus said was that King Henry II of France would die. The younger lion will defeat the older one on the field of battle in a single battle. He will pierce his eyes through a golden cage Two wounds made one, then he dies a cruel death. And in the summer of 1559, the younger Comte de Montgomery, who was six years younger than King Henry, jousted against the king on the fields of France, just as Nostradamus said he would. During the last pass, Montgomery's lance leaned up and shattered through the king's visor. One piece went through the king's eye and another went through his skull, giving him two cuts. After that, the king was hurt 
and suffered for 10 days before he died. There was a similar event with the Great Fire of London in 1666. Nostradamus said, the blood of the just will be demanded of London, burnt by fire in the year 66. The ancient lady will fall from her high place, and many of the same sect will be killed. And indeed, a small fire that started in a bakery on Pudding Lane in 1666 turned into a three-day blaze that destroyed much of the city, and the blood of the just, which refers to the people who died in the fire, was demanded of London. As if that wasn't scary enough, Nostradamus's prediction about the French Revolution came true. His writings say, while princes and lords are held captive in prisons, songs, chants and demands will be heard from the enslaved populace. These will one day be heard as divine prayers by headless idiots. And just as Nostradamus predicted, the French people got tired of bad aristocratic rule in 1789 and took control of Paris. The peasants, who he said stood for the enslaved people, got what they wanted, but the aristocrats, who he said stood for the kings and lords, lost their power and were locked up in the Bastille. Some of the slaves were finally put to death at the guillotine, which was very sad. Another well-known statement was about Napoleon's rise to power. Pau, nay, Laurent will be more of fire than of blood to swim in praise. The Great One will flee to the confluence. He will refuse entry to the Pisans, the Wicked Ones, and the Durants will keep them locked up. If you look closely, the capitalized words Pau, Ney, Loron can be rearranged to spell Napoleon Roy, which in English means Napoleon the King. The phrase, more of fire than of blood, probably refers to Napoleon's family history, which is not noble. Also, the part about not letting the Pisans in refers to the fact that he locked up Popes Pius VI and VII. One of Nostradamus's most famous and feared prophecies was about King Philip II of Spain's rule. Nostradamus wrote in his quatrain, For seven years, Philip's fortunes will prosper. He will reduce the Arab army. Then, on the halfway mark, things will perplexingly turn against him. A young onion will destroy his fortune. And King Philip II's early years were filled with great wealth and success for Spain, just as Nostradamus said they would be. The reference to seven years was seen as a religious link to a long time of wealth, and you won't believe it, but Nostradamus was right again. In 1587, Philip's luck changed dramatically, when Mary, Queen of Scots, who was also Catholic, was put to death. This broke his relationship with England for good. A year later, Philip's plan to attack England with the Spanish Armada fleet was stopped, which made him even less powerful. The quatrain also made a reference to the Battle of Lepanto, in which Spain beat the Ottoman Empire's forces in an area where many Arabs lived. Philip would later say that Muslims should be kicked out of Spain, Lastly, the young onion was thought to be a reference to Henry IV of France, who was 36 years old and a Protestant. Henry and Philip had a lot of problems with each other until Henry died, because they were different religiously. But even then, there was nothing that could be done to stop his predictions from coming true, and what happened next made things even worse. Many people feared him because he made some very scary statements, like the one about Adolf Hitler's rise to power. Nostradamus wrote, From the depths of the west of Europe, a young child will be born to poor people. He will lead a large army by the tongue, and his fame will spread to the realm of the east. Hungry beasts will cross the rivers, and most of the battlefield will be against Himter. The Great One will be drawn into an iron cage. Hitler was born in Western Europe to poor parents, and he rose to power through his speeches. Some experts think that the beasts, ferocious with hunger he talked about, were probably the German army attacking France. The greater part of the battlefield refers to how the Allies beat Hitler and then put him in a cage of iron, which was the end of his life. Besides the scary things he said would happen, 
He also said some really interesting things, like about the famous scientist Louis Pasteur. Nostradamus said, The lost thing has been found after being hidden for hundreds of years. Pasteur will be praised almost as a godlike figure. This is when the moon finishes her great cycle. But other rumors say he will be shamed. Pasteur was a famous French chemist and microbiologist who made important discoveries about the role of microorganisms and the need for sterilization, which led to the creation of pasteurization and vaccines. A lot of people liked what he did. In 1995, though, a scholar showed that Pasteur had used Armand Trousseau's research to make his anthrax vaccine, which, as Nostradamus said, brought some shame on the great scientist. It was said that Charles de Gaulle would become a great leader. Hercules, king of Rome and of Annamarque three times, one with the last name de Gaulle will lead Italy and the one with the last name Saint Mark will tremble. First monarch, renowned above all. Charles de Gaulle did become king of France three times, just as Nostradamus said he would. He first led the Free French Forces during World War II. Then he was Prime Minister of the temporary government after the war. Finally, he was the first President of the French Fifth Republic, which made him an even more famous person. Although no one saw his next statement coming true because it was so horrible, it did, and people were once again scared about what would happen next. He made the statement in question, which was that the atomic bomb would be made. When the United States dropped two atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in early August 1945, they caused unimaginable suffering and destruction. He wrote, Near the gates and within two cities there will be scourges the like of which was never seen. Famine within, plague, people put out by steel, crying to the great immortal God for relief. As Nostradamus said they would, the people who lived through the explosions cried out to God for help because of what they had seen. After that event, the United States seemed to be at peace, not knowing that another time of dark clouds was on the way. So, not long after this horrible event, one of Nostradamus's scary predictions came true. The great man will be struck down in the day by a thunderbolt, an evil deed foretold by the bearer of a petition. In this case, the statement said, another fall will occur at night. President John F. Kennedy was killed in broad daylight in November 1963, and his brother Robert was killed in the middle of the night just a few years later. Just as Nostradamus said it would, the world was left in sadness and war for the 18th time. Was that it? To be honest, it seems like all of his scary statements are coming true. It was true that the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001, were caused by earth-shaking fire from the center of the earth will cause tremors around the new city. Two great rocks will war for a long time. Then Arethusa will redden a new river as he had said. Someone set off the two towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. This set off a chain of events that shook the whole world. The two big rocks, which stood for the Twin Towers, fell on top of each other in the chaos. That really was a big deal. But did you know that he also told you how he would die and what would happen to his grave? Many people say that he died on the day that he said he would. Before that, he supposedly made everyone in the town swear that no one would ever dig in his grave again. But many years after he died, his body was dug up and an amazing find was found inside. A metal plaque was found on Nostradamus's chest that told the exact date and time that his grave would be opened, along with a curse for anyone who dared to touch it. This puzzle made people even more interested in Nostradamus. His statements about climate change came true exactly as he said they would, even last year. The famous seer said that the land would become very dry and there would be huge storms. He said, for 40 years there will be no rainbows seen. For 40 years, rainbows will be seen every day. 
the dry earth will get even drier and when rainbows are seen, there will be big floods. As 2023 went on, the world experienced many extreme weather events caused by climate change and global warming. Many parts of the world were hit by terrible droughts, wildfires, storms and floods, just as Nostradamus said they would be. It was no longer possible to ignore the impact of climate change. Afghanistan had bad winter winds and cold weather at the beginning of the year. 166 people died in a deadly cold snap, and many animals also died from the cold. In Mohe, China, it got as cold as 63 F. Algeria, which is mostly desert, got snow for the first time in 10 years, which is very rare. Then there was extreme heat and drought in many places, India, China, Los Angeles, Thailand, and other places in Asia were hit by a heat wave that broke all records. There were early tornado outbreaks in the southern United States. One of them killed eight people and hurt 53 more. In the United States, storms killed 58 people and caused two very strong EF4 tornadoes. The seas also got stronger and more dangerous. When cyclones like Freddy, Mocha, Bipa, Joy and others hit the coasts of the South Pacific to the Indian Ocean, they did a lot of damage. Storm Freddy was the strongest tropical storm that ever happened. It raged from early February to mid-March and killed a lot of people. When it hit Myanmar, Cyclone Mocha killed 438 people by itself. Cyclone Helios brought heavy rains to Malta, which had been dry for 80 years, and wildfires in Alberta, Canada, forced 13,000 people to leave their homes. These and other strange events showed how crazy the world's climate was getting. Plus, there were heat waves in every part of the world in 2023, which is another reason why experts say it was the hottest year ever. Now that we are in the year 2024, we are in an interesting position with the royal family. King Charles III, who took the throne after his mother died not long ago, has been told he has cancer. Reports say that doctors caught it pretty early, which is good news. But Prince Harry, the king's distant son, rushed back to London from his home in California when he heard that his father was sick. We all know that Harry and Meghan have had a bad relationship with the royal family ever since they stopped doing their jobs a few years ago. Harry even put out a shocking autobiography that told the bad family secrets. Some people can't help but wonder, could this series of events somehow lead to Charles's removal and Harry's taking over as king, just as Nostradamus seemed to say would happen? We will have to wait and see if the astrologer's words come true again. Let's look at another thing that Nostradamus is said to have said about the year 2024. The famous seer warned about a red enemy that will turn pale with fear and scare the great ocean. This one sounds pretty scary. Before we get too excited, it's important to remember that these are the famous cryptic quatrains that Nostradamus wrote. There are many possible interpretations of what the guy wrote because he used puzzles and metaphors. However, many modern experts have looked at how things are going in the world and decided that this strange verse might be a sign that things are going to get worse between the US and China. Take a look. The Chinese Communist government, with its bright red flag and use of red symbols, is probably meant by the red enemy image. It's possible that the line about putting the great ocean in dread refers to China's growing efforts to gain naval control over the Pacific Ocean. Of course, this is only one possible way to understand these mysterious lines that Nostradamus wrote a very long time ago. It's possible that he meant something totally different back then. It's kind of creepy how well this material seems to fit with a possible future military conflict with China, which is becoming a rising giant. This is because tensions between China and Western countries are rising over Taiwan, the South China Sea, and other problems. But then again, maybe we're just seeing what we want to see by trying to make Nostradamus's mysterious works fit 
with what's going on in the world today. Still, he was right when he said that there would be a big shifting war, with China's forces on the world's oceans, making the whole area afraid and dreadful. This is a scary option that no one should want. In another scary statement for 2024, he talks about the state of the earth. The famous seer says in a very vague way that the dry earth will become even drier and there will be huge floods when it is seen. Every time Nostradamus wrote a prophecy in those quatrains, there are many ways to understand what he might have meant. But modern scholars who are trying to figure out what this scary verse means have come up with some interesting ideas. One very strong reading says that Nostradamus was basically predicting the bad effects of climate change and the rise in extreme weather events that we've been seeing more often lately. He said that tsunami waves would not be real waves of water, but something just as strong and deadly. Nostradamus says that these tsunami waves will destroy whole farmlands. This means that huge areas of land where farmers grow food will be wiped out. Along with these terrible earthquake waves, Nostradamus says that the environment will be completely out of control in 2024. He thinks there will be long stretches of terrible drought when it's very dry and then times of too much wetness when it rains too much and floods. He also said some scary things about the Pope, which made things even scarier. He said, through the death of a very old pontiff, a Roman of good age will be elected. Of him, it will be said that he weakens his see. But long will he sit and in biting activity. This means that Pope Francis will die and an old man will be elected as Pope after him. People will say that the new Pope isn't strong enough, but he won't let that stop him. Despite the criticism, he will have a long and busy reign. Everyone in the world is excited to see if Nostradamus' prediction comes true. What else do you think will happen this year? We need to wait and see. There was a lot of truth in Nostradamus' predictions, so things are going to get crazy.